Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn ECM. Today we will see what is ECM. So when we say like we are implementing an ECM solution or enterprise content management solution, there are a lot of questions like what exactly is this enterprise content management? Why are we implementing this? So today we will understand what exactly is the definition of ECM and what all things comes under this enterprise content management. Before we start, standard disclaimer the information provided in this video is based on my own understanding and it's not an official video from any of the ecm vendors please connect with ecm vendor support for official documentation and information related with the implementation and this video is only for educational purpose so having said that uh, let's see what is enterprise content management so when we consider the definition enterprise content management is a solution design to manage an organization's data. It mainly includes unstructured data such as Word, documents, Excel sheets, PDF, drawings, audio files, video files, and so on and so forth. So it is a set of tools and processes designed to capture, organize, manage, store, and finally retrieve enterprise content. So the main objective of an ECM system is to simplify the overall document management process and ensuring that the information reaches the right people in the right place and at the right time. So this is the goal of any enterprise content management. So it helps organization manage their unstructured data and also integrate it with their uh, uh, leading applications. ECM system uh, is there to securely store content, organize it and streamline business tasks to improve document records and form processing. Even as the technology evolves, Leading ECM system offers the robust and scalable functionality to serve organizations. The goal of an ECM software is to speed up operations by automating key processes, saving time spent locating documents with a searchable centralized digital repository and being better prepared to meet compliance requirement with robust security controls. Now let's see, having seen the definition, what exactly this ECM does. So what are the different uh, features that an enterprise content management solution provides? The first is uh, it provides capture uh, functionalities. So we can capture and digitize content. So there will be different channels through which we can capture the information. We can even apply optical character recognition, uh, also known as OCR while scanning the documents. The documents can come via emails. It can come via vendor invoice management process or there can be a number of uh, processes through which the information can come in an organization. So as an ECM solution, it should provide us a capture solution wherein we can capture all this information and feed it to our system or feed it to our enterprise content management system. So that is the first uh, functionality that any good ECM platform should provide. That is the capture solutions. The second important functionality of an ECM solution is to manage the content that we have captured. Once the documents are available in our ECM system, like we should be able to manage them, we should apply appropriate uh, uh, security, uh, access rights, and we should also be able to categorize them, uh, add appropriate metadata, and we should also be able to uh, maintain or control the entire life cycle. So the, how the document will flow within the organization, what will be done after a certain period of interval, if we have to delete or archive those content. So overall management of those content within the organization is the core of any, any ECM system. The third is the store. Like most ECM systems will store your organization content in a centralized repository. But how effective these systems are in protecting information and streamlining data sharing legacy depends on, the, on their ability to utilize external databases or integrate with other systems. So we should understand like what is the storage uh, capability of an ECM system, how the data will be stored, whether it will be stored in archival format or like can we uh, store it for a long term. So this is the one of the functionality uh, store securely. Then comes the preserve. So it's again goes with the uh, hand in hand with the storage. So ECM should, uh, system should provide us with the ability to preserve data with the long term archivals for organizations that are under strict regulations or simply wants to preserve content in case of disaster or wear over time, a system should, provide, should be capable of assisting in archival efforts. 
so the disaster recovery high availability all those features comes into picture when we are dealing with documents and uh, data so that's again very important ecm functionality the uh, preservation of data the next important feature that any good ecm system should provide is retrieval of information or the search so when we are storing this huge documents and huge data for a very big enterprise we should be able to get that information quickly when we need it to do that it should have a very good uh, search functionality and it should also be able to search within the content as well as search based on the metadata and the classifications searching in user context or also in the business context is very important feature that helps uh, organization to scale then next important feature that an ecm solution provide is automating the document centric processes it should have some workflow capabilities so it should have a framework to uh, automate the document centric processes for example it should have let's say you are you are having a vendor process or let's say it's normal review and approval process so you should be able to design that process within the ecm system wherein we can send different documents to different departments and based on our business functionality we should be able to work on those then the next important feature an ecm uh, solution provide is to integrate with different applications so as we know like big uh, enterprises works with uh, different uh, applications such as salesforce or sap and there are some legacy systems ecm should have functionality to integrate with all these applications so that we can have single source of truth and all this application can access the data from ecm so we need not uh, maintain multiple copies so it should provide a very good uh, set of apis or uh, inbuilt features to integrate with all this application the next important feature is collaboration so it should provide tools so that uh, the different users can collaborate with each other using when they are working on this document so there are set of features uh, like uh, feeds activity feeds uh, comments then blogs all those kind of functionalities are available nowadays within uh, ecm so those set of functionalities are very important then we have the reporting and analytics we should be able to create uh, uh, report dashboards so that we can analyze uh, what all data is getting stored and we can get information from that data and which will help business to grow and we also have uh, artificial intelligence and uh, other functionality nowadays which will help in uh, mining the data and uh, creating useful reports for the business so we need to understand like what all the different reporting and analytics features are available in a given ecm platform so just to summarize like what we have discussed so we have a capture then manage then st store then it should preserve the documents it should retrieve information it should automate document uh, centric processes it should integrate with our different applications it should allow for collaboration and finally it should give us uh, reporting and analytics so these are the main features uh, that we need to consider for any given ecm uh, platform now let's discuss like what are the main uh, benefits of implementing uh, enterprise content management like why an organization should bother implementing ecm so few of the advantages are like it helps offices to go paperless which in turn increases the productivity and employee effectiveness so now you do not uh, have to deal with bulky files and paper documents you can easily uh, digitize them and then you can get that information and share with uh, share those documents globally so that will increase productivity and uh, employee effectiveness it also helps in speeding up uh, decision making so once you have everything digitized and also attached with your business application it will uh, allow users to take decision fast and in turn will increase uh, business profits also like it's not just about uh, speed uh, like it's not about just having all these features but in certain cases like when enterprises are rapidly expanding in those cases they cannot maintain their documents in a traditional way or let's say in a file store or something like that they have to go for an ecm application so that they can sustain growth and manage these uh, documents in an effective manner it also helps in reducing compliance hassles so there are industries and sectors where there are stringent compliance uh, requirement let's say a document comes to an organization and that has to be disposed of after certain period now to keep track of all those things is very difficult without an automated system so ecm provides those functionality wherein this compliance related 
functionality can be implemented or can be automated and implemented so that uh, is, the organization does not have to face uh, legal uh, issues due to that it also improves business market position and improves relationship with customers and business pa- partners because once you have a robust ecm system in place you can easily share the required information with all the stakeholders so in short like ecm will allow you to re- run your business smoothly and it will allow businesses to scale and get the information what when they need so nowadays like ecm is very important for the success of an organization along with their business processes or their erp systems now let's see like what are the different ecm vendors that are out there so we'll just see on the high level what are the main ecm vendors that provide uh, these functionalities so first is open text so open text has their content suite and they have other different products that can integrate with the uh, content suite and overall they provide a very good uh, ecm solution then we have highland own base they also provide the document management system then we have alfresco box lesser fitch then newgen omnidocs m files and there are many more so there are like different ecm vendors so these vendors provide uh, like ecm platforms uh, which organizations can utilize uh, based on their requirement so that's all we wanted to understand in today's video hopefully you got like what an enterprise content management solution is and what are its features and benefits now thanks for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe and share with your friends and have a nice day